Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood today. We have part one, episode eight. Last episode, it was it was gonna build up into something, and now today we're going to find out. Ed and Al, they were invading a laboratory trying to find out more about the Philosopher's Stone. We heard some dialogue between two individuals. One called the other 37, I believe. The other called the other one 48. They were wearing weird masks. One had two red eyes. One had one red eye. Similar to what we've seen, Gluttony have their red eyes in the in the subway. If that that's even like relevant to the to the situation, but I, I I may be playing some kind of part. But aside from that, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Al was attacked. Ed's probably gonna be attacked. One was outside. One probably stayed inside. But we're gonna get right into it. Main ingredient for a philosopher's stone. Human life. More than one, the too. Within the truth of which Marco had spoke, Ed and Al sneaked into the supply. Yeah, they're like abandoned fifth. Armstrong's letter. like, you guys were gonna you guys were planning on sneaking in there, aren't you? Weren't you? And they're like, no, we weren't, not in the slightest. Next scene. Yes, we were. Oh, at least he missed. It looks creepy, man. That mask is really creepy. I'm number 66. That's the name they gave me when I came to work here anyway. Number 66. I'm going to cut you up nice and neat. Number 66, and he came there to work for them. That's the name they gave him. I bet this is what they used to transmute a philosopher's stone. Oh! Uh I don't know who you are, kid, but you sure figured out a lot just from looking at a transmutation. Something. This comes waltzing in. The one in charge of guarding this place from curious brats. Oh, shoot. For the moment, let's just say my name is number 48. Okay, there's 48. I'm not sure how. <laughs> my orders are to dispose of anyone who wanders in here. Try not to take it personally. It's boy. interesting that he just All admitted right, to him what it was. Can you try not to take it personally when this boy kicks your ass? I wonder if he... Okay, so he doesn't know exactly who he is oh he's All fast right, let's see what you got oh shoot he's got like a scar I down my sword can pierce steel as well as flesh oh god i can handle it pretty well there's one transmutation circle in particular that's being used for philosopher stones my my what's this i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you're hollow oh i spar against someone like you all the time ow so there are people like me on the outside too are there? yeah it makes me sick i guess the i think there's more than one idiot in the world who came up with the brilliant idea of bonding a disembodied soul <laughs> 48 is the number i was assigned when i was on death row Oh. Back when I still had a living body, I was better known as Slicer. I was a mass murderer. Slicer. Tell me something then. This oh. Laboratory, are they using condemned prisoners, prisoners like you to make testing. philosopher's stones here? Well, I can't tell you. They simply recognized my what? skills, gave me this body, and made me their trusty guard dog. They can't tell him? I'm or sure can't they gave him a seal too, to serve as a medium between soul and armor. Yes. But they took his body. I have a blood seal. This is it right here. It's awfully considerate of you to show me your weak spot. Yeah, he's bold. I like to give myself a little extra challenge during a fight. <laughs> Why not just let me go? Nice try, kid. But what kind of he's a murderer. murderer lets his prey get away so easily? Yeah. No. Le That's losing fine. your physical body doesn't take away your you spirit. I said, my dear little Alicia is about to turn three. Oh, <laughs> Colonel Hughes. That's him. Hughes. Think this could wait? Yeah. Work. Okay. And Mustang. She's the cutest little thing. I'm sure she's adorable. She is the cutest little thing. Not just my daughter, Colonel. I go show for my wife too. Bruh. <laughs> I like Hughes. I know you're dying to gush over your very own Scarface Dishvalen. <laughs> Scarface is fallen. Vanished. He hasn't been sighted anywhere in the east. We here think it's most likely that he's dead. One hundred percent not. Is Major Armstrong still in charge of the boys' protective detail? Think they're gonna find he out was. that they're gone. But a couple of his men have taken over. <laughs> We've been played. Armstrong's gonna take his shirt off again and yell at us some more. Isn't it's he's gonna take his shirt to off again. Think about how this makes us look. You should be honored. To the fifth laboratory. I like how she has common sense. Like, of course they went to the fifth laboratory. Oh. oh, it's the screw that they forgot that was in the end credit scene like two episodes ago. Chrome, so it's less prone to rusting, but it's not as strong. To find a way to oh, this that's why. He's a cool enemy, though. A little slow. Probably because it's a suit of armor and you're not going to be as agile. He moves very awkwardly. Oh, we cut him. Oh my gosh. That's why he showed him his weak his weak point. He's very confident. What a cute little monkey. Will you call it let off? 
<laughs> and why does he wear the right about now my companion should be finishing off the party oh the he's gonna realize i was in danger you're strong yes he is he isn't as strong as i am though he's like oh al can take him then 100 <laughs> percent. in that case <laughs> you see we've been sparring partners a long time and i'll still never be i'll stronger than him <laughs> I like that cut. Why can't you sit still for a second and let me Now we need to. That begs the question. Ah! Is this actually government run? It has to be, right? Oh, that's a suit, too. You're empty. Just like him. Because <laughs> yeah, he has the metallic it sounding voice, with too. A man by the name of Barry. Man by the name of Barry. Once upon a time, right Whoa. here in Central, there was a butcher named Barry who loved his work. His favorite part was cutting up the meat into little tiny pieces. But one day, oh, Barry yikes. Found that cutting up beef and pork wasn't enough, so he took to the streets and began cutting up oh beef my instead. Gosh. Night after night. In time, of course, Barry was caught. 23? But not 23 victims had fallen prey. So these are just insane night. prisoners. Naturally, the criminals After terrorizing Central for so long, Barry was sent to the gallows for his wicked deeds. Barry isn't actually dead, you see. I am Barry. He's very much alive. Yes, that's right. But He's who takes it from him? Your very eye in the infamous serial killer, Barry the Chopper. Ah! Barry the Chopper. Sorry, I've never heard of you. <laughs> his ego is shattered. Shouldn't you be going, ah! or what happened to your body, or something? Ah! Exact same what way. happened to your body? <laughs> <laughs> you were on death row too. You had me startled there. No, not in the <laughs> slightest. I was the, the most you. wholesome little boy. When I lost my body, my brother transmuted my soul and bonded it to this arm. Of course, your brother. <laughs> What's so funny about it? He knows are you who sure he's you fighting. Your brother are really related. You don't look that much alike anymore. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Oh. Are you sure that you're not a puppet created and controlled by your so-called brother? What? Were you ever even a real person to begin with? How can you ask something like that? I oh. was a real boy and my name was Alphonse Elric. He's implanting <laughs> these ideas so in his sure head. I have memories. And who's to say those memories aren't made up? Oh they my. Granny, they know me. That's easy. They're in on it too. Oh my gosh. Oh we no. It's as simple as that. This area is off limits. Don't move. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? There's nothing I love more than chopping up live people. I kill, therefore I am. I as kill, long as I therefore know that, I am. That's all I need to prove to myself that I've always been me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Al's a kid. He's gonna. Then I'll have to hurry up and defeat you so I can get her up to taking care He's of He's more susceptible to the ideas and, like, I don't know, stuff like that. Go out! Do it now! What? Oh, tricked him! Oh, Not shoot! So He's got it! There's no such thing as dirty in a fight! True. Not if you're taking it that seriously. Wait, take the helmet! What's the matter? You yeah! You haven't destroyed the blood seal I so kindly put Oh, I wants to ask him questions. You're going to or not? Something I need to ask Yeah. The Philosopher's Stone? Is this in there? You know about His body's gonna come up behind him. Can't. Tell me I did beat you at your own game. That's where you're wrong. Yeah. I'm not beaten yet. I knew it. Ed, you're smarter than that, man. It's impossible. I mean, Al can move without his head, right? So wouldn't... It, why would... It makes sense he's surprised I that... I forgot to mention something about this mass murderer slice. His crimes were really done by a pair of brothers. An independent head and body? That's a dirty trick! No, no. Oh, can Al not move without his head? Dirty in a fight? Are you ready? Round two's about to begin, short stuff. I guess I just uh, assume. I don't think so. I'm not going to give you time to tread. She's actually two brothers? One's the body, one's the head? Oh god. Yeah, Al needs to get in there. I mean, Al's basically already won his fight, but I'm assuming he thinks that Ed can take care of himself. I'm going to die. Why does he see Scar? Oh, he learned from that fight. Oh wow. Take a sword. You reminded me of someone I don't like. As much as I hate to admit it, we've lost. So you're not gonna tell me you're only three brothers, are you? No, His hair? No. The sum of the legs Come too. On, boy, <laughs> it's almost like he no, wants to wants him to finish him. It's so weird. Like are we really even people? Dang. I consider you people whether you have physical bodies or not. He's thinking of Al now. I didn't believe my own brother is. Yeah. What's the matter, little puppy? I told you I'm not a 
He's playing mind games with poor Al. But how can you know for sure? How can you be certain you were really alive? It's just a kid, there man. There's one way you can prove that you're not just a puppet made Don't follow as... of armor. You've got a blood seal too, right? Destroy it. Go ahead. Oh my yourself. gosh. If you die, you were a real boy all along. Oh. No, no way I could ever do that. Then I guess I'll have to do it for you. Yeah, you think he's going to let you? I know that my brother is a human being. That means you guys are human too. Will not take the life of another person. Just sitting there looking at him. <laughs> My brother and I have been lying, stealing, cheating, and killing together for as long as it's we can. Like the opposite of the Elric brothers. And now brothers. that we're in these pseudo bodies, we'll be treated like humans for the first time. It's ironic. Don't you see the irony? Yeah. For that boy, I'll give you a parting gift. Oh. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you who made the Philosopher's Stone. And oh shoot! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, it's her! It's Lust! My, that was a close call. Oh, no. Number 48, you should know better than to talk about things that don't concern you. It's been building up to this. Well, well, would you look at that? What's the full metal pipsqueak doing here? How did you find out They've got them right in their, their grasp, too. Brother! Brother! Dang, I actually Brother! started to like that mass murderer. In a weird way. You pathetic, blubbering idiot. You are trying to kill one of our most important sacrifices. Do you understand me? Oh my you gosh. You messed up the entire plan. It's one of their most important sacrifices? Which sin is that on the right? Tell me who you people are. What plan are you talking about? The pipsqueak's raring to go. I think I made it angry. Don't call me pipsqueak again. Then what would you prefer? Cut the face. There's no need to fight here. Someone might get hurt. This is a the voice that throws started, me off. So come on! Technical difficulties. His arm just Let fell. <laughs> oh, You're dude. Your arm's broken. This is not for that. You wouldn't be getting off. This is rough. Remember, we allowed you to live. We allow you to live. It'll have to go. What you is it? So he's an important sacrifice for something later. There's something I've been wanting to tell you, but I guess I've been too afraid to say it. What was Ed about to tell me? What could have frightened him that much? Were you ever even a real person to begin with? I say he's playing into his age. Al being super young. What's the matter, little boy? You got something on your mind? It was mind? very much more easily convinced of things. You're wrong! Especially with such heavy Just themes. It. You'll feel better! You're mine now, little puppet! Oh? What? Oh. Stay right there. They did show well, up. The next one puts a hole in your head. I don't think that this would matter. Isn't going quite as I planned. <laughs> His face. <laughs> as in a weird way, I like these two guys. I know one of them's dead now. I don't know. They're kind of just carefree villains. Get down now. It's like a respect I have for villains who don't care. Like Madara. What are you just don't doing? care. Get away from there. From Not serious. Ed's in there. I know what this means. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'm booking it! Oh, is that him? Oh. There you are. I bought a little present so for they're you. saving him. Which means they're not ready for him to be the sacrifice His yet. His life's not in danger, but he has lost a lot of blood, so you might want to get him to a hospital. He's a precious resource. But who are it's like you? they're waiting for Lieutenant something Ross, to happen. We need to go. Sergeant, help me with like him. he needs to reach some kind of what, what potential, maybe? He's gone. Batman. Okay, I was confused. So whenever they're done with the lab, they should have just destroyed it. It's not important that that lab stay. They can replicate it. Makes sense. That's the sound of a building exploding. Oh, the prisoner, yeah. It's such a comforting sound. We haven't checked in on this guy in a bit. It reverberates through your entire body. I was just recalling the Ishfall and War of Extermination, and it put me in such a good mood. What's sun and moon? Freaking Naruto and Sasuke? So he was talking to sure Scar, you know right? Before by your so -called brother? that guy in the prison. I'm guessing he's Ishvalan, maybe? That would make sense, right? Because he was talking about the Ishvalan. Oh my goodness. That's, it's actually getting into, into Al's head, too. We just saw that. That Al was still thinking about it even while running away. My goodness. Quite a number of developments. Okay, there's another post credit scene on this one. Learned about those two a lot 
in depth so they were the prisoners basically that were on death row inherently i i'm led to believe that their purpose was solely to create a philosopher's stone maybe like they use their bodies were sacrificed not the, it, it can't be the government because it's it's these sins that that's their laboratory that was i think it was confirmed that it was their laboratory because she said let's burn this place down i'm guessing that means they're just gonna pick everything up well no they can't pick everything up and move because they just burn everything down so i don't know what kind of i don't know what kind of experiments they had i don't know how they move everything so easily we didn't even see gluttony i don't believe it was just those two i need confirmation on which like i know they're all sins so lust gluttony and then what's the third i don't know if it's been said that was like a, the person that was impersonating the ruler of that one town okay wait let's see what this post credit scene is so things here at central are pretty hectic the senior staff in charge of state alchemist is shorthanded has it a promotion to central for one colonel mustang isn't far off oh mustang being promoted watch yourself though need as many people on your side as you can get your hands on now colonel that's terrifying get yourself a wipe <laughs> get yourself a wipe <laughs> stop making so many personal phone calls okay oh so sorry oh goodness all right well again the first one i don't know if that related to how uh ed's arm broke during that fight i think it was just like it flashed to how she was like don't do anything too crazy with it it seems like mustang is getting somewhat of a promotion soon i think this is just kind of easing the fact that he's gonna be moving up in the ranks you know, like i said the po the politics are gonna be very involved in terms of relationships who likes you who doesn't like you colonel hughes clearly already has a little bit of experience with that kind of stuff so i i don't know like i said there's so many leads to follow i hope al doesn't let this go to his head because i don't know the full story like maybe there is some secrets that it doesn't tell him but i don't see it i think it's it was literally just that guy talking to him about it maybe that guy had some previous experience with that but i don't i don't really know i think the biggest lead out of this coming out of this is ed being a sacrifice for something and how they just let him live how we found out that those sins are the ones creating the philosopher's stones perhaps that was what that transmutation circle was it was confirmed by that one of those people that the, the guy that ed fought and yeah actually a really insane episode i enjoyed it a lot be sure to comment down below have a great rest of your day peace